Neighbors say they were given no official notice of the proposed release of 78 year old Douglas Badger, whose violent sexual criminal past dates back nearly half a century. News 8's Richard Allen has more on where Badger would live and the fierce opposition that has now formed against this plan. Well, that's right. Neighbors in this family centered area of El Cajon are making it very clear that sexually violent predator Douglas Badger would not be welcomed in their community. This uh, totally blindsided us. Dr. David DeRemer lives directly across from the 3,500 square foot home that the California Department of State Hospitals has recommended placing 78 year old Douglas Badger, a sexually violent predator who's been diagnosed with schizophrenia and sexual sadism. If ultimately approved by a judge following an April 20th hearing, Badger would be housed there at taxpayers' expense. We haven't been notified basically of anything. Neighbors here are organizing an opposition, planning a protest Tuesday morning and a community meeting Tuesday afternoon at 530. Their primary concern, the safety of their youngest residents. We're within a mile of two elementary schools. There are children up and down the street. Badger's court pass shows he's been convicted of child molestation, kidnapping and forcible oral copulation, as well as sexually assaulting male hitchhikers dating back to 1974. In 1981, he was sentenced to a decade behind bars for another sexual assault in Riverside. After being released, he was sentenced to another 10-year term for a 1991 conviction for a San Diego area attack. For the past two decades, he has been in state mental hospitals and petitioned for release to a home in Campo in 2013, a request that was later withdrawn following widespread community opposition, similar to this current opposition. It is ironic to me that the homeowners in this area have less access to due process than this individual. Questions remain as to how Badger would be monitored and who would be liable should Badger reoffend. It's been such an opaque process that we really don't know how he's going to be supervised. And the public has until April 9th to submit their comments on this proposed placement.